If you're like me and you love getting a gold star pretty much at any moment of the day, stay tuned. Good morning, good life. Welcome back to Amy TV, where we come together to help you go after the life you want. And today I want to talk about checking those boxes that we love to check. If you're like me and you're very much a finisher, you like to show that you've completed things and you feel better when you see things progressing and if you're able to use a device or use a system to help you keep track, then that's what I want to share. Some simple things that you can keep track of on a daily basis that might just be those moments you need periodically throughout the day to boost happiness. Now, if you don't like tracking things because it annoys you, then this is probably not going to be the right video for you. It will not boost happiness, but you might find out how to track some things, so there's that. From movement to mindfulness and everything in between, here are six things that you can track every day to boost happiness. Number one, tracking your steps. I feel like this evolution has changed over the last number of years because it used to be everybody just had like step trackers, but now I feel like the Apple Watch is making us aware of even more metrics that we can keep track of, and you might prefer to fill the blank here with calories or something else, but I prefer to actually look at my steps because I have become very much aware of how walking and just moving the body in a really simple way has a bigger impact than we want to give it credit for. Vin and I have actually started taking walks because of quarantine. We needed to get out of the house and remind ourselves how important that was. We would take walks every day and we still do. We didn't get to yesterday and we probably can't today. That's why I'm saying it like it's the past (laughs) because it's my fault. We have not been walking the last two days. But those walks were just for no reason whatsoever, nowhere to be. And that was not something we were in the habit of. And just watching my step count go up rather than what the very low numbers were when we were just in the house all the time, all day long working. It was really refreshing. And not only that, the actual act of movement makes you a lot happier, arguably, depending on what it's doing for your energy level. So tracking steps is one of my favorite things to do to watch my movement and to keep track of my happiness as in terms of health in my body every day. And I also uh, just like to close my rings. I like to close my rings. And um, what's even more exciting is if you're in the habit of closing, if you know what I'm saying, you have an Apple Watch, but if you close your rings every day, then it's fun because you're like, oh, I need to change it. I need to set the bar higher. And that's a really cool conversation to have with yourself. Like, "Mm, we have to strive higher now because we always close our rings. Do that. The second thing you can track every day to give yourself a little gold star and boost some happiness is hours of sleep. Now, obviously, if you didn't get enough hours of sleep, you ain't getting a gold star, are you? Probably not even gonna get silver or bronze. You can do this a number of ways. There are apps that allow you to kind of put your phone underneath your mattress and track your sleep that way. There's some kind of technology there with their the accelerometer knowing when you're tossing and turning um, to be able to tell you, you know, how good was your sleep. I prefer not to sleep with my phone anywhere near me. It sleeps in my closet. And so I have my watch on at night and that's what helps me to keep track of my breathing and how low my heart rate was able to get and how good of a deep sleep that I got. The app that I use is called Sleep Watch. I do believe it is a paid app, but I think I paid just a nominal fee for an annual membership and I like it a lot. It gives you a lot of data about your sleep. The one thing I'll say is if you cheat, and you hit the snooze and you go back to bed and you didn't get enough sleep before that and you get a little sleep. I don't, to me, that feels like cheating. I guess, I don't know if a sleep expert would say that, oh, it's good you went back to bed and got those other two hours that you were missing uh, because you went to bed late than the, you know, the night before. I feel like that's cheating a little bit. So I know if I slept in and I shouldn't have, I will go into the sleep watch app and like delete out the extra two hours it gave me credit for because to me, that was not a true assessment of my sleep. So I wait until I make sure, like, are these numbers right? Is this what time I went to bed? Is this about what time I fell asleep? And I will look to see and go, all right, great. I slept like a champion last night. This is one of the biggest things you can do for your health, for your immune system, for your weight, for your overall happiness in general is to just get enough sleep so you can handle 
the craziness of the day that comes at you. So keep track of it. Number three, keep track of your gratefulness and your grateful moments. I love the five minute journal for this. This is a journal that I have currently in my morning routine that comes after my morning pages. So I will spill the beans in the morning pages for three pages and then I'll open up my five minute journal. And one of the first things it asks you in the morning is what are you grateful for? And I really, really think that's an important thing to do on a regular basis. The other thing that I um, have done in the past, I don't have it on right now because I'm trying to limit notifications on my phone, but I used to set a timer or a reminder in the reminders app to say, you know, what are you grateful for? And I actually would ask it out loud if there were people around me. And it started to drive some really interesting conversations. I would be like traveling with Vincenzo and Blake and I would look down at my phone and I'd be like, hey, what are you grateful for? And it was cool because it was like, ooh, I can put people on the spot and I'm thinking about what I'm gonna say and I'm asking them. And it's just sort of like this thing, like you don't have to put a lot of thought into it. It's just what are you feeling right now? And a lot of times what I write in my journal in the morning is so simple and it's like, I'm grateful for my husband. I'm grateful that I have a roof over my head because it's raining outside. I'm grateful for these just really small things, but when you don't appreciate what you have, you know, nothing can really make you happy. So tracking my gratefulness. I don't know that I'm gonna go back and look at those pages in depth and go like, did I ever say this? Was I ever grateful for this? I don't think it's about that. It's just being able to know that every day I've sat down and had a moment to think about it and get outside of myself for a sec. Next is for those gold star lovers and that's tracking your wins. If we don't track the small wins on a regular basis, it's going to be even harder to appreciate the big ones when they come or harder to believe the big ones when they come. And we should be able to sit in those and be grateful for them and be able to reflect on them. But if we can't do it every day, we'll we're, be really bad about it, about slowing down when the time comes again for that big stuff. So sitting down and just saying like, okay, man, maybe today was hard. Maybe it wasn't my best moment. Maybe I wasn't living my best life, but what was a win? Like, what was a small win? If you did a good job of prioritizing for your day and maybe just writing down the one thing you had to get done that day and you did it, is that your win of the day? Was it something that your child or your significant other said to you? Something small or something big, it doesn't matter. Keeping track of your wins is so big. And this is also why I do it on a weekly basis in my weekly reflection is going back and saying, okay, what were the wins of this week? Look at my calendar, look at the things that happened, look at some of my gratefulness, journey and what I wrote down, but also like what were the goals that I set at the beginning of the year? Did we get any tiny wins in, in, in advancing of that cause and how are we doing there? The fifth thing you can track is another fun one and I think there's a lot of arguable content out there of whether or not this is important, but I personally like to do it because it makes me feel like I've covered another health base for myself and that's ounces of water. I always start with 16. I got my lemon water. I got 16 ounces right off the bat and that that makes me feel like I've already checked a box as soon as I start my day because it's a part of my morning routine. And from there, I have my favorite water bottles that I carry around the house, and they're about 16 to 21 ounces as well. And then I have a really big hydro flask that I take to bed with me, lots of ice, lots of water. And so overall, just based on the containers that I use and the things that I like to have with me and have ice water or lemon water or whatever you wanna put in it, I can keep track of how many ounces it is without even having to have the taxing task of maybe going into an app. I found that I wasn't really good at that. There were a lot of good water um, tracking apps. I'm just not that great at um, keeping track of my water. So I have to actually use, I have to go, okay, I'm intentionally refilling this water bottle right now. That means I had at least 21 more ounces. So it's that kind of thing that I tend to do to track, but I do still track it up here. And the last thing I think is important to track, and it's just because Things don't have to be great all the time and um, it's okay to recognize that and be okay with that and sit with that. Is tracking, you know, at the end of every day, was this a good day or was this a bad day? And I actually have this, um, I have this in a couple different ways in my bullet journal and actually in my Good Morning Good Life planner as well. Just saying like, smiley face for the day at the end of the day or like, mm, like straight mouth which is so me, by the way, straight mouth emoji. <laughs> you know, straight mouth, or was it like a sad face? Was it a bad day? And I've had a couple bad days recently. And so just being able to go back and maybe at the end of the month and say like, how many good days versus bad days were there? Because just being able to know I feel like makes me feel better that I care enough about my mental health that I'm gonna try 
to go more toward the good days. But I also respect the bad days for what they are. And the reality is the bad days are never going to be zero. And just knowing where your state is and thinking on a regular basis of like, where am I at? We don't do that enough. And just like we want to check in on all these other things and make sure we've got small wins and just be able to tell ourselves, you know, we are moving forward no matter what. We're still here. We're above ground. We're getting the small wins, got the little gold stars. Good things have happened. I sat and I was grateful today. Just being able to know that is progress forward. Things don't have to be perfect, but saying, you know, okay, maybe I had more day or more bad days than good this month or this week or whatever. Why was that? What can I do to change that? What can I do to seek help for that? And I think that's a very important thing to track. I have one more thing that I like to track that helps to boost my happiness, but I'm saving that for my friends over in Shine Squad. I have bonus tips over for tier three in Shine Squad. If you would like to check them out and be a part of that community, head over to patreon.com slash amytv. Question of the day. What do you keep track of on a daily basis that boosts your happiness. Let's come up with a couple more things on this list. Share them in the comments down below. That's all for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate it as always. Make sure you subscribe for good vibes, kiss the ones you love, and go after the life you want. Cheers. LOL. It's already so hot in here. The birds are so loud. <laughs> okay, here we go. Probably not even gonna get silver or bronze. What? <laughs> Becca, <laughs> chop this out. Otherwise, I will forget. Make sure you subscribe for good vibes. I don't even remember the signals now. Back to Amy TV. Hmm. I'm hungry. Okay, bye.